Hello my children. Today we're here with another video. If you don't know me, if you've never seen my channel, welcome. My name is Angelina. Right now it's 12.05. I've literally done absolutely nothing, which is really aggravating. Yesterday I made an impulse decision to go get my hair cut and I do really like the way my hair is right now, but I've been wanting a wolf cut for so long and I don't know how it's gonna look and this might be the worst day of my life, but we don't know yet. My appointment's at two o'clock, so I have a little bit of time before that. So I kind of just want to make food because I'm so hungry. I literally have not eaten yet because I'm so lazy and I've been in bed all day. I want to plan stuff to do for today. So I'm going to see what my mom is doing. But I'm trying to mentally prepare because I have pictures that I want to show my hairdresser. The thing about wolf cuts is like there's like a bit of bangs that go with it and I want bangs with it. But I've never really liked bangs for myself ever. And so this is kind of going against everything. I'm so nervous that this girl's just going to chop me like bangs and like I'm going to hate it. So I'm like so nervous right now right now. I'll put a picture on the screen of the pictures that I'm showing my hairdresser for like reference. Honestly, my YouTube channel is making me do insane things. It's like switching my whole ass personality. I came onto YouTube with like hair as long as like my freaking toes and vouched to never ever cut it in my whole life. And then all of a sudden I just chopped it all off. Now I'm getting a wolf cut. We have to give it a bit of time because sometimes when hairdressers do my hair, I hate it so much. You don't even understand. And not because they do anything wrong. Like my mom likes it. It's like not ugly. It's just, I don't like when they blow dry my hair because because I never blow dry my hair and it feels like it's a wig like I don't know like I just I don't like it I feel like I look so insanely bad honestly today I might try like new makeup and stuff too because I've honestly been getting into that and I'm probably gonna look back on this video and be like this is the worst hair and makeup ever I start school on the 30th of August I think and I have my picture day the 31st and it's my grad year I don't know if those are my like photos for like my ID or whatever but I just would like to not have the worst haircut I've ever had in my life in my ID photo or the yearbook for my grad year. Like, I'm literally so nervous about that. You don't even understand. I don't think normal people are like this nervous when getting a haircut, but. So for now, I'm gonna make some raviolis, I think. This is what I'm gonna be making today. We're gonna try to make it good. I've been doing good with food. We have mushroom ones and we have cheese ones. We're gonna do the cheese ones, even though I really do like mushrooms, but my mom told me to do these ones. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up that thing over here with water. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm gonna let that boil. Probably gonna take 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna add these. I'm gonna get back to you guys because honestly, so many times, oh, there's been so many times where I've literally just kept the camera filming for literally 15 minutes while like water would be boiling and then I have to edit all of that out and that's not cute but I'm gonna talk to you guys when I have my food because I'm a little bit scared that I'm not gonna have enough time to get ready we good we see each other we see each other okay I think we're good this is my little pot with the water and then I'm gonna make rosé sauce with it if you see this this is a chair I don't know why it's on the table but okay okay see you guys in a sec the water is boiling oh my god why is it so uh 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 <gasps> ew this spoon had stuff on it and now it's in my water Oh, I'm aware the timer is up. Still using the water. I'm not waiting another like freaking 20 minutes for it to heat up. Oh my god, it smells so good. I kind of want. Mmm. That's what they look like. Now I need a new freaking spoon, man. Oh, I should. I have to put salt in the water. Now it's kind of done. Like I don't know how to do this. Why are they all at the top floating? Sauce check. Saucy check. This is what it is. It already looks ready. Like I don't know what's happening. Oh. This is why I don't cook. This is why I don't cook. <laughs> I'm gonna strain the water out of the pasta and I'm just gonna try to figure something out. This has been not a very fun experience so far. This is the plate so far without the sauce. This is what it looks like with the rosé sauce. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I'm just gonna clean up and then I'm gonna take you guys outside and then I'll try this with you. But I wanna show you the final product because I'm actually really happy for all that chaos in the kitchen. I really just hope it looks as good on screen as it does in person. I'm proud of that. I was supposed to go to the pool now. I'm not really sure what time it is, but I realized that I don't really want to go to the pool after I got my hair done because that's when I kind of want to get ready. Um, I think for now I'm just gonna relax outside. I'm like actually dying of heat. Like I don't know why I do this. I wear crewnecks all of the time and it's like a hundred billion degrees outside. Like this is tanning weather. So I don't know why I decide that. Maybe it's because inside my house is like kind of cold. I'm just, I'm just nervous. I've been wearing this haircut for so long. So like we'll just do it, but kind of like it was an impulse decision. I was literally up north and then we we're sitting for breakfast and then I was like you know what I really want to get my hair cut my mom was like okay and then Dali was like you should call the place and so my mom called the place and booked it and now I'm overthinking it a bit but I want to eat my pasta now I've literally been chilling at the pool for like 
a good half an hour and now all of a sudden now i have to go get my hair cut this is the before i'm not gonna get it dried because i still want to go to the pool after but i'm gonna get all ready and stuff later because i think we're gonna be going downtown i'm so excited i'm sorry that i'm talking so fast but i'm in a rush hi guys okay so this is my new haircut i'm gonna be touching it a lot i'm kind of going insane i don't really know how to style it i don't really know what i'm doing but i still have to get ready because tonight i'm going out i still want to like fix that up but i also want to do my makeup i have to pick an outfit for tonight so i'm like kind of really nervous and i'm in a time crunch i haven't had bangs since i was five years old i'll see you guys later just let me take a shower and figure out what i'm doing because i don't know what's happening right now Okay, so everyone's rushing to leave now, so I'm sorry if you hear some background noise. My mom is literally on the phone. And I absolutely love this hairstyle. I love it so much. I literally will keep on getting it. So, I'm leaving now. My outfit. Wish I had more time to, like, show and chat with you. But, unfortunately, I am literally last minute right now. I was at the hair salon, and I had my appointment at 2 o'clock. And I went in, and I got it done. But what happened was, like, my hairdresser did an amazing job. But I wanted a bit more bangs in the front. Oh my god, I'm so red right now. What is happening? We're gonna pretend like I don't look like that. So my mom was like, okay, like obviously we don't want you to be unhappy or whatever. So they brought me back and I felt so bad because I did like the hairstyle and I did not want to make it seem like I was like an annoying bitch like that. But my mom ended up by going back and when I was getting like a couple like more like I was getting bangs because I didn't really have bangs in the original version My mom decided that she was gonna get her color done for her hair and my dad was somewhere else So he couldn't pick me up. So now I'm a little late I don't know how I'm gonna do my forehead stuff because I refuse to put on that fucking bandana because I look like Dr. Strange I was gonna do like some black eyeliner, but I've never really done that So if I start now and it's really ugly my outfit right now is literally just a white top and black leather pants The only thing is like I feel like the top is like a little basic even though it's cute it's just like a little basic and it's like i don't really know what to do with the top part of my body if you have bangs how do you freaking deal with them because right now i'm like dying i'm gonna try to finish some makeup and i'll get back to you when i'm done ish if i don't see you then i'll see you another day and we can continue this like kind of like transformation video but yeah i'm really sorry um i kind of suck figure out this outfit this is the final look now i kind of did like my eyes and stuff this is the first time i've ever tried it so please don't clock me if you don't like it i'm gonna show you my fit i'm literally i'm dead so i changed my shirt this is my shirt that i put on now it's from zara thought it was like a bit cuter a bit more funky <gasps> i'm literally gonna go crazy now okay so i'm leaving like in literally two minutes and i have to pick out a purse you can pick out with me we'll see I have another black bag it's cute it's like a little kate spade one sorry for my closet it's a little weird i'm so happy with how this turned out i literally I really did not think I was gonna like it this much. I'm so happy that I went back because if I didn't go back, then I would not have had this. It would have literally been like my same haircut like that. I'll see you guys later. I know I'm probably looking absolutely crazy because my normal hair is wet, but my bangs are dry and that's because I've never had bangs before. Obviously, I'm trying to fix my hair because we don't know how to do bangs and it's so difficult to figure out. Guess what? I'm late again and I'm gonna have to be rushing again. I didn't do any of my face makeup or skincare, so I'm kind of stressing about that. And also, I don't know how I'm gonna get to my forehead. Honestly, if you're watching this, you're probably like, Actually, how do you even see? Because they go below my eyes. I don't care. Okay. It's a nasty night. Yesterday, I had the worst time because I was trying to fix my bangs and they're just not there. So this is how I'm going to have to be doing my makeup the whole day. This is horrible. How do people even do that? So today, I'm going to pick up my friend. My mom's going to be going to work right after she drops us off. I don't know. I just don't want to ruin it because it didn't work like all the other days. And like now it's kind of working, but like, do I like it? Like I'm going to go finish up my skincare, which is literally just one product. And I'm going to get back to you so I can try to film as much as possible in the shortest period of time ever. Now that I'm done, I'm going to start doing like my makeup. But the whole thing is like my makeup is all here. Currently, like that is unattainable. This is the new look. I don't know what's happening, but my mom said she's gonna fix it. I just couldn't have it in my face, I'm sorry. This is very new to me. I'm really dying because I have to leave in 10 minutes. I don't even know how to do this in like an hour. So I'm wearing a cute fit. I'm gonna show you guys later. Everything is from Zara that I'm actually wearing. Next thing I'm gonna do is just take like a black eyeshadow and then this brush. I don't really know how to use it. And I go on my waterline. This is gonna take a minute, okay? I need to concentrate for this. Okay, so I just finished up some random stuff. I don't know if I did it too dark. We're gonna also fix the bangs. Don't worry about it. 
So this is a little later. I'm trying to fix things up. My hair is still wet and this is dry. But I want to just show you my outfit, tell you where everything is from because I have to leave literally right now. Top Zara. Skirt, also from Zara. Earrings, I got them in Italy from Murano Glass. Yeah, that's the fit for today. It's also going to be kind of funny because I always overdress. But I tried to dress it down and put just normal sneakers. Now we're in a zipper store. Yeah, my mom needed a zipper. Zipper shopping. Fun. I forgot my tripod in my house. I literally have a zipper under you, which is like what I just bought. So my whole plan for today was to wake up early, take a shower, try to fix my hair because my bangs have never been working for the past couple of days. My mom brought me to this little breakfast place this morning, which was so cute. Then she was like, okay, Angelina, I want to take some pictures in your outfit. So my mom took some pictures of me today, which I really like, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be posting my Instagram so you should definitely go follow my Instagram if you haven't already. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Either. Oh my god, there's like a bee surrounding my door. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's literally gonna come inside. It's like literally two seconds later. I'm not allowed to eat on the couch, so shh, don't tell my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, you didn't see this. It's now like 4.30. First of all, who's gonna tell me that skateboarding and surfing were in the Olympics? All these beautiful people. I think Canada did okay. Um, I watched volleyball a little bit, then I went to go watch Dahlia's soccer game. I really enjoy it. It makes me miss it and it makes me angry because now I missed a year of training and I'm so out of shape. So it's kind of embarrassing and I am embarrassed to start playing again. I'm trying to buy barrettes. I have not had barrettes in so long. Honestly, I would love to shave my whole head one day, but I know that I would look really bad. There's this one girl on TikTok. She has a buzz cut, I'm pretty sure, and she has so many tattoos. She does awesome makeup, and I'm literally obsessed. Tattoos are it. If they're done right, I would love to get a bunch of like fake tattoos so I could try it out because I feel like I would get bored of certain designs so easily and I don't feel like being like 65 years old and looking at my arm and regretting one of them if I'm gonna get on my body. I would personally want to have something that I really like and that I would like it for obviously a long time. But I'm also scared. What if someone messes up? Like imagine you go to a tattoo artist and they just mess up your whole design and it's not what you wanted and you get bored of it or they draw outside the lines or it's like one of those tattoo fails. Bella, that's my dog's name if you didn't know. I didn't know this. I got my dog nine years ago, okay? Before this whole white small dog slander was going on. Also, now everyone's dog's name is Bella too. We named my dog that because Bella means beautiful in Italian. We didn't name her that because we were like, oh, what is a classic name for a dog? She's kind of like a cat though. I don't really know how to explain it. She doesn't jump on stuff. She's like a dog. Come here, come here. Hi, Snuggle. Why is it that when people talk to dogs, including myself, obviously, you just heard, we change our voice. Bella, what was that? Come here. My dog be wildin, okay? How did this go from a, oh my God, I got bangs video to me talking about dogs? I think I'm gonna cut off now. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Definitely subscribe and go follow my Instagram if you haven't already.